proving another one of Euler's theorems, which is very similar to the ones in the previous videos that I talked about. But here, we're saying that if you have a connected graph in which every vertex has an even degree, then you have an Eulerian circuit. Now, I, I just wrote circuit, but I, I meant Eulerian, Eulerian circuit, so it includes every edge. And um, that's going to be the case. Or you have a connected graph in which every vertex um, is connected and all but two of the vertices have an even degree. Uh, and then in that case, you have a path. So you have a path when all but two vertices have an even degree, and you have a, a uh, circuit when every vertex has an even degree. So how do you prove this? What do you do? Well, this approach right here is, is often referred to as the onion skin proof. So onion skin proof proof because what we're going to do is we're going to approach any random graph in terms of layers and the idea is that you can start at any point and thin it and thin and just travel around and eventually you'll return back to that point because what we're assuming first of all we don't, we don't really know this yet but we uh, assume this we can know that, that every vertex is even right because Let's just say let's say we have a connected graph. So here this graph is connected, and every vertex has an even degree. So how do we show that that when this is the case, we have a circuit? Well, I'm going to start here at A. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to travel around the graph. And I'm going to travel around on the edges. Just keep going, keep walking along the outer perimeter, the first layer. And eventually I'll reach B now. If B was odd, I would not be able to keep going, but every vertex here is even, right? And A and B are not the same thing, so I can keep going, right? I haven't finished yet. And eventually what I do is I travel and walk my way back to A. And notice this yellow perimeter is a circuit because I left A and I was able to walk back to A. It's not an Eulerian circuit because it doesn't include every edge, but we've created uh, I guess you could say the best circuit so far, just by walking around. And this yellow perimeter, we're not done yet, we've just created the first layer of the onion. Notice there's still a, a pink map inside. Now we're not going to try to walk all the edges, we're just going to use this approach and see what happens. Now one thing we can observe is that, well, to begin with, we knew that every vertex was even. And since we were able to leave come to and leave every vertex that we just traveled around, that means we took an even amount of edges away. So we took an even circuit away from a graph in which every vertex was even. That means that this new graph inside also has to be even. The idea is that, well, every vertex was even. So for example, maybe one of the degrees was, was four. That's an even degree. We took away an even number from that. And what do we get? An even number. Because an even number minus an even number is always what? It's always even. So we can't get away from that. But now the, the way that the proof continues is that, okay, what edges haven't we touched yet? That's what we look at next. So, and this vertex kind of is the key. Let's call this A1. We, we haven't touched these edges and they start at this vertex, so now Let's pretend that we had walked from A to this vertex and include this circuit right here. Let's walk around this one. And we create a little mini circuit. And so far we've now created another circuit. We have two circuits in total, the yellow one and this green one. And we missed, we did miss a little bit of the graph, but really we're getting there, right? We still haven't created a full circuit. But the idea now is that if we had started A, came to A1, traveled this green circuit first, and then the yellow path, we'd have another circuit. So yellow path, A to A1, but then travel the green circuit, the second layer of the onion, and then go back to our outer layer. So we'll look something like this, A to the green, travel, 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 and then travel the perimeter, and we have a circuit. It's not a full circuit yet, we're almost there. We still have to include these edges. So now let's call this A2. So we go from A to A1 and we start to travel along the green circuit, but yet we need to include these edges to make a full, a full Eulerian circuit. 
So we travel those next. So now we, what we've done is we've included every edge. And in that process, that means that we started with a connected graph in which every vertex has an even degree. And what we did was create a circuit from that. Because in this proof, it's not enough to, to, to just say that we, oh yes, we can get a, a circuit when we have vertexes, uh, vertices of even degree. We have to show that it's possible. And that's what we're doing here. We're taking a random graph. We're saying the first step is that you can find a way to walk the outer perimeter because you're just going in and out of every vertex. Right? They're all even. We know that. That's the assumption here that every vertex is even. And we might not include every edge in that process, but we can walk around the outer perimeter. So then what you do is you find the vertex next, that was A1, that, that actually touched some of the uncrossed um, edges. So we cross those next, and then include the rest of the yellow path to make our circuit. And we're not done yet because we want to include the remaining missing edges. So now we, we found our circuit, right? You start at A, you walk along to A1, and then you realize, oh, I haven't included some of this stuff here, so I go up, and then A2 is our next circuit, so you travel this circuit, and then you travel the green one. You're going one layer at a time, and then you go back to your outer layer. And in that process, this, this kind of onion skin layer process, we're able to show that when you have even vertices, there is a way to draw an Eulerian circuit, to break the graph down into its layers. Now in the next video, we're going to look at the case where all but two vertices have an even degree. So how do we know that's a path? And how does this, how do these ideas from this proof help us do that? So I hope that helps.